Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got a haul for you. Yay! Um, just check if I've got lipstick on my teeth. No. Um, yeah, anyway, I've been saving these bits up over the last few weeks because I haven't done videos for a while now because I had a bad tooth and now Tegan's ill. She's in bed at the moment but she will be crying soon to get up so I'm going to try and sort of fit videos in between videos if you know what I mean. I know I've got requests to do, to do. I've got tags that I've been asked to do but if I don't manage to do them I will get round to it at some point. It's just with Tegan being ill I'm finding it quite hard to fit doing videos in but I'm trying to do some while I can so I'm doing a haul I will get on with uh, I've got Primark stuff and a few super drug bits so I'll get the few super drug bits out of the way first um, and the first one is a Garnier Express 2-in-1 eye makeup remover and it looks like that it's like a two-tone sort of purple on the top it looks and like a watery on the bottom and if you shake it up it like sort of goes into one if you like. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Um, Shell um, X85X I think it is um, has got this and I saw it on her Instagram and I wanted to buy it to check out what it's like so thanks for that Shell. I haven't tried it yet but I'm sure it'll be good because I use the Garnier Micella water on my face and I love that so I've got that to try now. <laughs> Um, the next thing I bought, I haven't bought much, but I bought the MUA, the new MUA palette, and this is called the Asylum, Asylum is it called? Asylum palette, and it looks like that, I haven't opened it yet, but you get a pencil in it, you get black one side, and a nude the other side, so that's quite handy, I'm hoping that the pencil is okay, um, it's sealed, let's see. If I can open it. I can't remember how much I paid for this. It was probably more than £4 I would have thought because it's got a pencil in. I'm gathering that it's about £6 is it? 6 or 8 but 6 I would have thought. So yeah I've just opened it. The colours look really nice actually. Um, I love MUA. It's got black one side and plain the other side so yeah it feels a soft coal pencil. And you're not going to see that one really, but I've swatched it there as well, the other side. But yeah, that feels nice and soft. And there are some shimmery colours and matte colours in there, so that's really nice. You can't see the colours properly in this lighting, I'm sorry, the lighting's really crap in here. But this one looks a gorgeous colour at the end. It's got like, it's like a plummy black colour with glittery bits in it. Uh, it's got quite a lot of uh, mattes actually, well I'll say quite a lot, one, two, three, four, including the black I think, I think the black is a matte, so yeah, that's quite nice. You haven't got a shimmery highlight, but this is a matte highlight I would say, or a base I would say, because it's just like a powder colour, and the rest are shimmery, that could be a highlight colour actually, because yeah, that's a shimmery highlight. And then you've got your matte, you've got your matte, you've got a mid sort of brown, that's shimmery. This is like a, let's see, black brown. Yeah, black sort of brownie shimmery colour, but it's nice. Um, there's sort of a rose gold looking shimmery colour, which looks nice. A plain black, shimmery brown and another shimmery pinky type colour. So yeah, I really like that. Not tried it, but I usually like MUA eyeshadows, so I will say that I like it. So that was the next thing that I bought. Hang on, I'll just uh, wipe my fingers, because I just swatched. Yeah, uh, the next thing I bought was too new. I say I've been waiting to use this stuff. I never use anything until you guys see it, so think yourselves lucky because I never use anything. I got two nail varnish for the, uh, can't speak, two nail varnishes from Barry M and uh, they're Christmassy ones. This one is green and um, red glitter. You can't see it in this lighting but it's really beautiful. Green and red glitter and that is called Christmas tree. <laughs> so that's a good name for, hmm. 
yes it's a Christmas one it's a nice name uh, the next one is a gold and red glitter there you probably can't see that either I'm sorry I can't do these in the day guys but that's what you gotta do when you got kids uh, and this is called Jingle Bells that's a nice name Jingle Bells Christmas tree so yeah they're nice I don't know why I'm in such a weird mood but I like them. Oh, I've seen another one from Barry M actually the other day, but I didn't get it. Can't remember why I didn't get it. Maybe I didn't have enough money. I don't know. I can't remember, but I didn't get it. But it was a nice one. What colour was it? Was it silver? I don't know. But I think it was like another Christmassy style one. And the last three things I bought were some new lip liners. And I saw these, I think, I always go on to like Boots and Superdrug, I don't know if you do this, and go under most popular items or new items I think they've got on Boots. And I think I must have, that's how I found these. And they looked nice online, so I decided to look in store. And they had them, and they're Max Factor anyway. I can't remember how much they are, hang on, I've got a receipt here. Is this a receipt? It all came to £22.29. Let me see. The Barry M's were £3.99. The MUA was £6. Um, and these were £4.99 each, these lip liners. But I think it was buy two, get the third for free. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got three. So I think, yeah, I think it was definitely buy two, get the third free. So they are called um, Max Factor Colour Elixir Lip Pencil um, and have they got shaved? Shaves? Have they got shades? Sorry, yes. This one is number six, Mauve Moment and I will do swatches now. The next one is, what's it called? Number 10, Red Rush. The next one is number four, Pink princess so yeah they're nice names and I thought they looked really good online and I thought they looked really soft as well so I'll do this is my neutral colour first so that's for like a nude lipstick because I haven't got many lip liners and the Urban Decay ones are brilliant but they are very expensive so I thought I'd try something different and I thought I'd try these so that one is a um, mauve moment the next one is the red one, Red Rush. Which is that colour. You can't see on screen, but if you want a really, really um, pillar box red lip liner, don't go for this. <laughs> um, it looks more of a pink to me. It looks a pinky red. You can't see on camera probably, but that is not red. I don't know why. What have they called it? red rush that's not red to me it's more it's more like a i don't know it's like a pinky red it's like a i don't know it's not red anyway Grr. Grr. i thought it w would be red by looking at it but no it's not it's more of like a corally like a dark coral color weird color uh, it's still nice but you know uh, next one is the, what was this called, Pink Princess. So this one was quite a neutral one as well, I think, yeah. That one is that colour. So it's like a neutral sort of pink colour. A bit gutted that the middle one isn't the colour that I wanted it to be, but never mind. So they are the three colours, and I'm going to leave them on my arm and just see while I'm doing this video how they dry. Um, so that's all I got from Superdrug, so I'll just put them back in the bag. And then from Primark, um, I got these quite a few weeks ago now, and they've just been sat here. I got some jeggings, and these are in a size 14. Yeah, a size 14, and they're just th 30 inch leg jeggings. So they're dark, dark legging jeans things. You've probably all seen them with a stretchy waist. Um, I have got these already, but mine are like really worn out now. So I needed some new ones. Oh, I didn't tell you the price. They are 
seven pound so that's good um the next thing i got i thought this was really cute i don't know why i bought it i just think it's really nice and it was three pound and it's like a makeup clutch bag if you like not that i go anywhere to wear anything round my wrist and sparkly and to have my bits and bobs in but you know i just liked it and if you like something then just grab it it's very sparkly it's got jewels on the front and the back is like a fake leather and it's got that on for your arm and it's just basically to use for whatever you want your makeup or if you want to put something to go in it if you're going out for the night and it just slips across and for three pound yeah i thought it was cute so i bought that the next thing is a skirt um yeah it's a check skirt i'll show you anyway it's six pound and I got that again in a size 14 because I'm about a size 14 so yeah I can fit into some like 12s and some 10s even but usually in baggier stuff I can fit into them sizes but that's a skirt and it's like uh, it's got buckles there, leather buckles and it's like that so I thought it'd be nice with boots or something and tights for the winter let me know what you think, do you like it? because tartan and that is quite in. I was actually, I went in looking for a tartan scarf but they had all sold out, they didn't have any and I came out with like a tartany skirt so there you go. Go in for something and come out with something totally different but it's like sort of stretchy, it's like sort of jumper material if you like. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. Um, has it got a zip? Yeah it's got a zip to the side so yeah I'll try that anyway. And the last thing on that day I got were these pair of boots and they're like little old granny boots and I thought they'd be cute. Little granny boots, I could imagine a little granny wearing them tottering down the street but no I will be wearing them tottering down the street and they are in a size 5 and they were £18, that's quite expensive that £18. When I looked at them I didn't expect them to be £18 but they were and they're a wedge and I just think they're nice they've got a zip and they are suede or whatever you call it and fluffy 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 inside and at the back they're fluffy so yeah I think they're nice they're a nice colour they're gonna get dirty easy but yeah I like them so I'm not sure if they had them in different colours I can't remember but I do like them they're nice and then I went to Primark on a different day and I got a few more things. Uh, three more things in fact I think. Another pair of shoes. These caught my eye straight away just for Christmas really because you need something glittery and glitzy for Christmas and I thought they are glittery and glitzy and they're gorgeous and yeah I like them. Uh, I'm not too into heels often because my feet are just stupid um, and I do get blisters a lot so I like flats or, or, you know, I do like heels I like wearing heels but my feet don't like me wearing heels um, I love the look of heels and I do buy heels but my feet don't like them anyway I'll shut up they've got a bow on they're very glittery they're a size 5 and they're a wide fit and they were £6 that's all £6 for a pair of shoes so They've just got a flat bottom to them and the glitter is falling off them as we speak it's on my hands but yeah six pound for a pair of shoes i thought it was nice and then i saw this scarf and i saw a like a different color one of these um a plummy color and a navy colour should I say and I got the navy one because I thought it would go better because I've got loads of that plum colour now and I bought a plum colour dress which I'm going to show you in a minute that I thought this would go nice with and this was only £3 and it's a snood them ones that you wrap around your neck so yeah it's still got the tag on it so I'll just put it over my neck um, yeah I thought that was nice because I don't actually own anything or many things that are navy blue actually I'm not sure why because I do like navy blue but 
I don't own many navy blue things. Now you can hang me up. Now, what am I doing? There we go, it's one of them things that you can put over your head anyway. So that's that. The next thing I saw was on a mannequin and me and clothes sort of don't mix very well. I either love it or I hate it. I either think I look fat and I get it home and end up taking it back because I'm peed off because I just think I look fat in it. But I actually got this. I didn't try it on in the shop. I got it home and I actually do like it. Yay! So I'll be keeping it. I saw it on the mannequin and looked really nice. It's just a plain dress and it was £13 I think, yeah £13 and I got mine in a size 12 because it's like really floaty if I show you it's got a gold hardware zip to the back and it's long sleeved which is good for the winter and it covers my chubby arms so that is that and it's just a plain dress with long sleeves it's a bit like a skater dress if you like and it's a bit longer than my knee is it? yeah just a tad about down to my knee or a bit longer um, but it's just a plain dress and it just goes out like, like that really it's just quite wide if you like it's quite swishy and quite wide so that's why I got it in a size 12 because I thought yeah that should fit me and it does it's fine uh, it's a little bit, not tight, but it's it's a bit round the bust, it only just fits me on the bust in a size 12. So if you've got a bigger bust than me, I'm not really going to show you my bust, but I haven't got massive boobs, but um, it was quite, if you've got a bigger bust than me, then you probably m might not fit you. Um, I'm a 36C. Shh. But if, yeah, if you've got a bigger bust than me, it might not fit you because it's quite restricting over the bust. But yeah, it does fit me and it's nice. I really like it and I really love that colour. And I thought this actually would go nice with that colour, the dark blue. So I like it and maybe even these glitzy shoes. So I'll have to do an outfit of the day. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Why am I still wearing this dress and this snood? Thanks for watching and I will speak to you soon. If you haven't subscribed then please hit the subscribe button down below. Please give me a thumbs up and please have a look at my links down below because I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and my blog as well. So please look underneath and click each one of those and click follow, 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 follow and I would love you forever. And please also share this video as well and I would be really grateful. Thanks for watching and you didn't tell me I had lipstick on my teeth. How long have I had lipstick on my teeth? Probably the whole way through this video. Grr. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's such a long video. And yeah, any questions ask down below. Thanks. Bye.